Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my winter body care collection. So now that we are past body care day, I wanted to show you guys everything that I own for the winter time from Bath & Body Works. And I have a few different um, brands as well, but it's mostly Bath & Body Works. So I've got a ton of stuff laid out on the bed and I might get some more things whenever they have the mini sale coming up, I believe on the 16th. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my video because minis don't change a lot. Um, as far as my numbers, I use those pretty quickly. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into my collection. Okay, so here is a rough overview. I've laid everything out on my bed and I did put a blanket down just because some of this stuff is actually in my shower. So I don't want it to get the bed wet and we have a wet, uh, white bed, so that would not be good. But anyways, here is a rough overview. I've got some sprays, shower gels, lotions, and then some scrubs. So let's start with sprays. I do have two from VS Pink that I picked up, I believe in 2020. I have a Whipped Dream, which is cake sprinkles and vanilla caramel. This one is in my Project Use It Up right now, so I'm trying to finish it off. But it is a wonderful, just like sweet scent. And then vanilla swirl, frosted vanilla, and sugar crystals. This is basically just a white sugar scent, super simple. So that's those two. And then all my Bath & Body Works ones. This one is one of my kind of like collector's items. I don't ever wanna finish this off. This is from 2014, it's Frosted Wonderland. The notes aren't on here, um, but I will put something down here so that you can see what the notes are. But this is one of my absolute favorites. Um, I finished this off my original one that I had, so I bought a backup on Mercari and I will never finish this. It is my like baby and I will keep it forever. So that's Frosted Wonderland. It's actually very similar to Coconut Mint Drop, but not exactly the same. And then we've got the holiday traditions from 2020. I have a Vanilla Bee Noel. This one literally has no scent to it, really sad. Um, does not last long at all, but here are the notes. Fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. And then we have Coconut Mint Drop. This was the first year that I believe it came out in Body Care. This is White Coconut, Ice Peppermint, and Winter Musk. One of my absolute favorites. This is also in my Project Use It Up. This is like the best scent to wear this time of year. I absolutely adore it. And then we have Christmas Cookies. Also, I think the first year that this came out in Body Care. Or no, sorry. It came out, I don't, did it come out in 2019 first? With the Land of Sweets, I think, yeah. The notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. Just a wonderful, like, creamy cookie scent. It's so yummy. This is also in my Project Use It Up. And then I have three from this year. So we have Iced Sugar Plum. This is also my project, and this one is really nice and fruity. So this is Sugar Plum, sorry, Sparkling Sugar Plum, Snowdrop Petals, and Whipped Marshmallow. So it is like a marshmallow um, berry scent. I have to say though, this does not last long on me. Like I'll spray it and then five minutes later, I can't even smell it. Somebody let me know in the comments if you also have this and you have that same problem because I find that it doesn't last like at all whatsoever. And it's really sad because it smells so good. And then I have a blush cardigan from the new collection. This is Sweet Raspberries Sugar Dipped Violet in Warm Amber. Just a really nice warm um, berry scent, really yummy and I think will be great for um, kind of winter going into spring. And then I have Wrapped in Vanilla. This is probably my favorite scent they've come out with in like the past year. This smells so delicious. So this is Soft Vanilla, Velvet Sugar, and Chantilly Cream. This smells like um, vanilla cupcakes or even just like cupcake icing. It smells so delicious. So I've been absolutely obsessed with this one and I'm so happy to have it. And then let's move into some shower gels. You'll notice some overlap with the scents. So Winterberry Wonder right here. I have this in a few different other forms. I'm actually working on this in my project right now. The notes on this are Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. Just a really nice fruity scent for wintertime. I've been really enjoying this one. And then we do have Vanilla Mocha Cream. This is from um, last year's winter collection. And this actually originally came out in the fall. I think it's a great fall scent as well. This is Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. Just a wonderful, warm, coffee mocha scent. I really, really adore it. And 
I'm so sorry about all this. Like my phone is not focusing for some reason, but I really do love vanilla mocha cream. And then I sugar plum again. This is in the shower gel. I do have the whole collection and I'm really loving this. The um, packaging is like also super cute with little penguins on the front and the holographic packaging. I really liked this frosted um, type of unit that they use this year versus like just the clear see-through. I think this is so much more fun. So these two both have that kind of like frosted packaging. I really love that. And then we have Life of the Party. I just picked this up at Body Care Day. So this one's brand new to my collection. So the notes on this are pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmering vanilla. It smells super similar to champagne toast, like really, really similar, but with the jasmine, it kind of makes it a little more floral. So I'm very excited to use this one and test it out and see what I think. And then wrapped in vanilla again in the shower gel. I'm so happy to have this one. I might have to get backups of it at SAS. And then I do have a little mini philosophy um, shower gel. This is six fluid ounces. For reference, the Bath & Body Works ones are 10. So it is like a little smaller. And this is also in my collection um, in my project Use It Up. I really like this formula. It's very like soothing. I can tell that it would be a really great bubble bath. I want to get a bath in with it sometime soon. But yeah, it's really fun, really nice. I do think it smells like cookies, not necessarily like edible cookies, but like body care cookies, if that makes sense. It's not quite the same like Christmas cookies as Bath and Body Works, but it's very yummy. Okay, and then we're gonna move up here. I only have two body creams. I'm keeping it that way because I think body creams for me are something that it's, it's a little more difficult to use up and they go bad so quickly and I love vanilla scents in the body cream so I don't want to get them um, and have them go bad on me. So I do have vanilla mocha cream from last winter. I cannot wait to wear this uh, probably starting in the winter, maybe February or something um, and then going into spring. So that is vanilla mocha cream. I'm so excited about that one. And then wrapped in vanilla again. Like I said, I love vanilla scents in the body cream, which sucks because they go bad so much quicker. But this one smells absolutely divine in the body cream, so I'm so excited to use it. And then I've got my two body scrubs here. I have Vanilla Bee Noel in the Whipped Sugar Scrub, which I'm using in the shower currently. And this one is from last year. And then Pure Wonder, which I just picked up at Body Care Day. This is the Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. I love this packaging and the glow body scrubs are something that I really, really love. They're very gentle. I can use them almost every single day. I have not used this one yet, but I am excited to. I've never actually tried Pure Wonder, which is like crazy to say because it's from last year. <laughs> but the notes are Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. I really do um, not enjoy floral scents, but Jasmine and Amber are two scents that I can really, really get behind. So I'm excited to try her. And then I have this little mini random one from Hemp's. This is the Baked CBD Minty and Mellow Peppermint Moisturizer. So this is just a little mini body lotion and I also have this in my project. I've been pairing it with um, Coconut Mint Drop just to have a little mint going on. So I really like those two together. And then we are almost done, you guys. So I have my lotions right here. First up, I have Christmas Cookies from 2020. You can tell it's getting a little yellow. Um, much more yellow than the ones behind it. it those, those are definitely white compared to this one because it has so much um, vanilla in it and it's actually changed consistency just a little bit. It's not runny yet, but it's definitely not as thick as like a fresh body lotion that like I would have just bought. So yeah, that's Christmas cookies. Definitely trying to finish it up before it goes bad. It probably still wouldn't go bad until like next Christmas, but I just don't want to take my chances. And then I have Winterberry Wonder in the body lotion also from 2020. And I am working on finishing this one up as well. Twisted Peppermint, which was also in this same collection from 2020 in the holiday traditions. Um, also working on finishing this one. I have vanilla mocha cream in the body lotion just to go with my set and really, really love this in the lotion. And then iced sugar plum also to complete my iced sugar plum set in the lotion. And I'll probably save this to use for next winter. And then I have this little peppermint essential oil uh, body lotion that I've actually been using as a hand cream at my work desk. I work from home, so this is like at my desk downstairs and I love it and I'm almost finished. Um, and the pump won't actually pump anymore. So I'm just going to have to like turn it upside down and, you know, get out the rest of it. I don't know. What do you guys do when you finish off these essential oil lotions? Like, let me know if there's an easier way than just like tipping it over and then pulling it out. Cause then it's all going to fall out. I don't know. I feel like that's 
not very easy to use, but that's the last body lotion. And then I have one final body butter. This is the Winterberry Wonder body butter from 2020 also. The packaging on this was like super gorgeous. Pull it in closer so you guys can kind of see this, how beautiful it was. It was like this awesome holographic packaging. This kind of reminds me of the Santa Claus for some reason. I don't know. And it just like was really gorgeous with the, the snowflakes. And this was just like a really pretty packaging year for them, I think. And I'll go ahead and show you where I'm at on Winterberry Wonder. So I only have like a quarter of it left. So pretty close to finishing it. This is such a wonderful scent. Um, I really, really enjoy it. And the body butter formula is honestly perfect for after you've just like shaved your legs or something and you want to add in some like extra moisture to make sure that, you know, your legs stay soft and stuff. So this one is really, really yummy. And I'm going to be sad when I finish it off. So that is everything for this body hair collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what is something that you are loving and enjoying this winter time. What like new fragrance have you started loving? I think that Wrapped in Vanilla is going to be one of my new like go-tos. You guys will have to let me know down below if you think I should pick up a second set at SAS. I'm going to start using it just so I can like tell if I'm going to want more of it. Um... But yeah, I'm just happy they came out with like a very basic vanilla scent because I'm so I'm so basic like that. I love all the um, vanilla scents. It's just my favorite. So anyways, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.